Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sino America's micro webinar on DCS for contractors. Today, we have our product manager, Thurston, and our Northeast sales manager, Sean, presenting today. If you have any questions, feel free to add them to the chat window or the questions window. And with that, I will hand it over to Sean. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Uh, as Jen mentioned, today's topic is going to be uh, Steinel's DCS controller with a, an emphasis on the ease of installation on the contractor side. A brief background on Steinel. Uh, Steinel is a German-based lighting control manufacturing company uh, with a, a forward-thinking mentality. For those of you who know anything about Steinel and Steinel sensors, you know we take great pride not only in the quality of our components, but the innovation behind them. So for instance, our, our hallway sensors with the 65 foot range coverage pattern and a true corridor pattern. Uh, we also have our Quattro series sensors that have that square coverage pattern as opposed to your standard round 360 degree coverage pattern. All of our components are, are made over in Europe. Uh, they are tested as soon as they come off the line by us to assure they are up to Steinel standards. We do have a branch over in Bloomington, Minnesota, where we have several months inventory. So we are not a long lead time manufacturing company. When you place an order, it is not a four to six week lead time. Uh, it is uh, possible to get orders out and shipped the same day. So again, not a long lead time manufacturing company. With that being said, that uh, brings us to the reason we are all here, and it is Steinel's DCS. In this controller, we actually have three independent 20 amp relays. Many of our competitors out there have a single 20 amp relay split amongst multiple outputs. That's going to limit them, and it's going to limit them uh, limit your install and field. For instance, you can't do multiple rooms or multiple circuits with a single 20 amp relay. You can't do multiple voltages, so a 120 volt and a 277 volt with a single 20 amp relay. And you can't do a plug load control and a lighting load with a single 20 amp relay. And last, you obviously cannot exceed that 20 amps worth of lighting. With this DCS, you can do all of that. So three 20 amp relays adding up to 60 amp control. We can do a 120, a 277, all with a single DCS, as well as plug load control and a lighting load with a single DCS. Every single DCS controller has an internal and astronomic time clock built into it. So there is no need to go back to a centralized server. You actually see that in a couple slides, the ease of installation there. All of the components that we have, so the sensors and the switches, run on an 18 to polarity insensitive data line. So you do not have to remember that you put the red to the plus uh, or the red to the minus. It is polarity insensitive. Uh, they communicate together, the controllers, via a Bluetooth mesh interconnectivity. So again, see in a couple of slides, but there's no need to run that category cable to category cable, excuse me, to get them to communicate. And then there's BMS integration uh, utilizing our DCS Connect model. Installation in field is very, very simple. You'll notice here just a brief picture of the DCS. So we have the line voltage wires and the low voltage wires actually separated. So the zero to 10 volt is not bound to that relay. So we can easily switch that zero to 10 volt in field using the stab in terminals on the low voltage side. You'll notice it actually mounts via a half inch threaded nipple with two lock nuts. Uh, and then it has an RJ45 backnet port for the DCS Connect version. Mounting to a J box, again, much like mounting your power pack. So again, you have your half inch chase nipple, uh, your line voltage wiring going into your J box. And then on the opposite side, again, like I mentioned, your low voltage wiring. Again, the low voltage wiring of the zero to 10 volt, not bound to that specific relay, easily interchangeable in field. <coughs> Best part about the DCS, kind of like I mentioned earlier, is the simplicity of the wiring. So with your standard uh, uh, control solution where you want time control, scheduling, interconnectivity, you typically need some bridges. You need a front end server. You can no see on the screen how convoluted and confusing the wiring topology could get with that. 
all of that can be easily put or easily done with a single DCS. So again, internal and astronomic time clock on every single DCS with every single relay being able to have its own sequence of operations. For example, if you have a DCS controlling two offices and a corridor and only the corridor needs to have nine to five functionality, we can absolutely do that. So you're not bound to a single DCS, you can actually be bound to a specific relay with that sequence of operations. All of them, again, connect via BLE mesh interconnectivity. So you are not running a category cable to a network bridge back to another DCS controller. It is a simple wireless BLE interconnectivity. Again, as I mentioned, the polarity and sensitive 18-2 wire uh, in no particular order. So you, again, you can swap the switches or the sensors on each side or, or on the 18-2 wire and still have them function as each one of them is individually addressable. So wiring is uh, almost impossible to uh, get incorrect. It is very, very easy to install. Commissioning, again, very, very easy via our free Bluetooth app available on both iPhone and Android. So again, you'll notice all of the wiring that would be required to do, uh, the, again, the time control, the internet, interconnectivity, everything of that nature with our competitors is extremely, extremely easy and turns into a single DCS controller. As mentioned previously, all of Steinel's uh, Sensors are available with the DCS again on that 18.2 polarity and sensitive data line. So our IR Quattro, US Quattro, our hallway sensors, all the sensors you've known to, to love and uh, you know have the highest quality are now available with our digital platform with the addition of a couple of new sensors. So we have what we call our IR Quattro Slim and our IR Quattro Micro. Our IR Quattro Slim does get about 19 by 19 coverage pattern. Uh, man, these are perfect for those 12 by 12, 15 by 15 offices where the uh, engineer architect doesn't want a big sensor up in that ceiling. These are a six millimeter low profile sensor. So again, they barely hang off the ceiling and they have a photo cell built into it. So not only can you do occupancy and vacancy control, again, over a two wire polarity and sensitive digital platform, you can do daylight control as well. Then our IR Quattro Micro, you'll notice is about an inch and a half in diameter, same coverage pattern, same situation with a photo cell built into it. So again, can do that occupancy vacancy as well as daylight harvesting. Perfect for that 12 by 12, 15 by 15 office. And because in several situations, you don't need a sensor where you need a photo cell or vice versa, we do have our digital photo cell. A couple of unique things about this is it actually can be open loop or closed loop. We commission that right in our app. Uh, you can do up to three daylighting zones with just a single photo cell. Many of our competitors will require a photo cell in every single one of those zones. With our DCS uh, and our photo cell, you only need a single photo cell. So all of this adds up to less components to install in field. Again, easier wiring and easier installation. On top of that, we have our new DCS wall switches. Uh, you'll see the bottom right hand side, they are glass plated backlit LED wall stations available in multiple, multiple uh, buttons and scenes. So whereas you would have in field, typically three dimmers side by side and a three gang wall plate, you can simply replace that with a single uh, DCS or a DS3 as you see here in the middle. All three dimmers, again, slide dimmers on off per each zone, uh, right there in that single button or that single gain switch. All of that, again, 18.2 polarity insensitive. So now as opposed to, again, three gain, three dimmer, you are simply running two wires right to this switch and getting three zones of control out of it. multiple multiple other uh, options here so we really have this 13 button uh, this all inclusive uh, i really envision this for classroom type applications but again all that 18.2 you can control multiple scenes and multiple zones with those single wall switches 
installation again super super simple but the best part about installing with the dcs is there are many situations where it functions right out of the box and you do not need tech or anyone to come and commission it so for example this what you see here on the screen we have a single dcs with three zones in a room two zones of fixtures and a ds2 which is the two zone switch right out of the box the dcs assigns relays one and relays two to the two zone wall switch so zones one and zones two of the fixtures now function with this wall switch the dcs sensor gets assigned to zones one two and three with a time delay of 20 minutes partial on to 50 percent of the loads and then the photo cell gets automatically assigned to zone one right here in an open loop mode. So this entire room, right out of the box, without having a tech come to site, all you do is plug it in, it functions uh, and is code compliant. And Sean, we have a question. Yeah. Can custom engraving be ordered for the switches? So custom engraving is available for the switches. Um, you know, you'll have to get, get with your RSM on, on minimum order quantity and, and price points and everything, but it is possible. Is that it? Yeah, thank you. Beautiful, awesome. So just a brief overview here of what the, the DCS install app looks like. It is an extremely, extremely intuitive app. Uh, as you can see here, we have the simple options for our relays, our sensors, our switches, photo cells. Again, all of this is commissioned via our app. So you do not need a tech to come to site with a laptop and plug in a category cable to the front end server with a 16 passwords and takes three days to commission. Um, 30 controllers is doable in, in a day, day and a half. So again, intuitive app, intuitive install process, ease of install. It's a free app. So even you as contractors are able to sit there and commission on site without having a tech need to come to site. Um, we also have the option in these, what we call use cases. So if there are 30 classrooms that have the exact same type of setup, we can simply save our use case to the app and then upload to every single classroom or every single DCS in that classroom without the need to then recommission. So again, saving time on install, saving time on commissioning. Uh, it's really a no brainer to utilize the DCS on some of these projects. All right, Sean, we have another question. Yeah. Can the DCS accept an ADR signal from the serving utility. Man, I'm gonna Thurston. I'm not. I'm not sure uh, of that one to be honest with you, Thurston. So um, with the demand response, it takes a contact closure. It doesn't receive the open ADR signal directly from the utility. So it's looking for a, uh, just a simple dry contact closure to the input. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Thurston. So along with Steinel, uh, again, the ease of install, all of our quality products, the big thing that we sell here at Steinel is quality customer service. So not only will we offer or do on-site or virtual pre-wire visits, we also will submit full packages, which include wiring diagrams and layouts to make this installation process as simple as possible for you as a contractor. Um, so again, you know, from the left hand side, you'll see the one lines for every single DCS controller. And then again, site visits, pre-wire visits are all possible as well as, you know, uh, tech support, always standing by to answer any questions that you guys have. <clears throat> I will open this up to some questions. It looks like I, I got about 15 minutes in, so I did pretty good. Uh, I'll open this up to questions. If you guys have any questions, be more than happy to answer anything you guys have uh, on install, service, anything. Yeah, Sean, um, our first question is, 
is this system designed more for room control versus an enterprise system? <clears throat> so, um, again, we, we try to get out of the, the room control philosophy or statement, um, but it is a lot more geared at the moment towards that. So, uh, again, you know, three separate rooms or, or two rooms with a single zone and another room with uh, two zones, uh, as opposed to networking 30 DCSs together uh, is absolutely more uh, more doable and feasible with the DCS. So again, you know, um, the full-on enterprise systems where you need the centralized server uh, and to be able to control 30 floors um, is not the route uh, and not the best for the current status of the DCS. Okay, thank you. Another question. Is there a controller available or on the roadmap to do phase dimming? Uh, yeah, so we, we can actually do phase dimming right now. Um, what we do is we use a, a third-party device that takes the 0 to 10 volt signal and converts it to a phase dim signal. So we can do phase dimming currently. We just have to add in a third-party device for it. Thank you. Another question. Are there limits to the number of OCC sensors or daylight sensors per controller? Uh, there is, uh, we have power consumption charts we can utilize, but yeah, so every sensor uh, has its own milliamp consumption. Uh, every controller gets 200, 250 uh, milliamps. So we do have to be cautious on how many we put on. Um, but when we do our layouts and take out, take offs, you know, we will make sure that we do not overload the bus for you. Um, be more than happy to share the, the, the chart too, if need be, to, with any contractors that want it. All right. Do you offer weatherproof sensors to work with the DCS? So right now, uh, the only uh, IP65 rated sensor we have is the IR Quattro Micro. Uh, we do have a roadmap for additional uh, outdoor rated sensors. Um, it, it is it is on in the future. It is uh, currently not available though. Is the DCS cap uh, capability with Dolly fixture? Uh, also on the roadmap uh, for the future at the time being or for the time being, uh, we just are able to do our sensors and our, our switches. Um, we do look for the future to be able to control Dolly fixtures. Uh, it is a Dolly 2.0 communication, so uh, they will have to be Dolly 2 fixtures. You mentioned the relays are built into the DCS. Are there relays a zero cross design? Uh, I believe they are zero cross. Uh, Thurston, yes, uh, like they, they are. Absolutely, they are they're zero cross. We've uh, put a lot of time and effort into that. So even over time, it maintains zero cross. We measure it every time that it opens and closes. All right. Can you share this PowerPoint presentation as a sales tool? Um, yes, absolutely. Uh, at the end of the week, we will send out an email with a link to the video, and the video will be uh, of this webinar will be on our YouTube and our website. And then on our website, we will also have the PowerPoint slides for this presentation that you can um, download and share as needed. Okay, can the time scheduling um, do astronomical events. So there, there is the astronomic time function as well. So uh, sunrise, sunset, um, the GPS in your phone is what is actually utilized. So you, you sync that to the uh, the DCS, and that what is what allows it to do the astronomic time function. Thank you. Will the DCS control uh, two hundred and eight? Um, the lighting system. Uh, so Thurston can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it is only rated for 120, 277. It will not handle 208. That's correct. But if you need to switch 208, we'll we'll show you we'll put you a wiring diagram of how to do that using a third party piece. It's the PCS itself, the relay are single pole relays. So it's not switching uh, both poles of your 
240 or, or uh, 208. Thank you. How many colors do the switches come in? So uh, right now uh, it is white. Um, Thurston, uh, I'm not sure if we have another color option available, but uh, I've only seen white. At yeah, the time. So in the introduction, uh, we've we've begun with white. <clears throat> um, if you have a, a, a special request for other colors, uh, we can do so. For us right now, it's a special order to get other colors. We're not stocking them. But please do feel free to contact us about that, and and uh, and we'll let you know how to get them. Uh, with uh, different colors, um, uh, we'd have to. Those again aren't stocked, so there'll be a lead time for this. Um, but do uh, don't cancel a project because of just that. One other thing to note is beyond just the uh, the, the 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 glass touch plate switches. We also have the ability to use uh, what we call a switch coupler that allows you to use momentary switches. So if you have a project where they want a specific switch style, we can use that type of switch along with the switch coupler, and then the switch coupler communicate onto the bus to the controller. Thank you, another question. Are the zero to 10 volt dimming leads from the GCS listed as a class one or a class two wiring method? They're class two, they're a class two circuit. Okay. What GCS power voltage can deal with can connect to 347 volts or 220 volts AC? You want that one, Sean, or you mean take it? Uh, sorry. So the the question is, can we do 347 volt? Is that, if, if that's the question, uh, we we can. Um, we still need to power the DCS with a 120 or 277 volts. Uh, relays two and three can actually use a third party 347 volt uh, power pack that will then switch that 347 volt load. Um, so we can do it. Uh, it's just again a third party uh, addition. Okay, will a keyed switch eventually be available? Uh, so we can uh, use a third party keyed switch that, you know, it's a, a momentary. Uh, as Thurston mentioned, we do have the DALI coupler that accepts momentary input. So uh, we can utilize a third party keyed switch and run it back to that momentary uh, input on the coupler and then have that controlled with the DCS. Okay, um, do you have a back net pick statement for the integrated model? Uh, oh, I'll take that one. So yeah. the, the back net, uh, the, the, the back net portion of it hasn't been released yet. Um, we'll have a, another controller that's called DCS Connect. And with DCS Connect, then we implement the, the, the back net commands and absolutely we'll give you all of the, the info about uh, the back net uh, commands there. Do you offer API integration? Uh, Thurston, I would say not, uh, not at the moment. Correct. Um, if the DCS is in from indoor connected to outdoor devices, how long can the wiring go? Uh, 300 meters. Okay. Are there power boosters available to boost more? Um, no, we don't have any that we're offering at this time. Uh, we've uh, tried it with a, a few that are in the marketplace, um, uh, but we haven't we haven't released them where, we, where we're selling them yet. No. Is the BLE to each DCS? Yes, every DCS has BLE uh, integrated into it. Uh, it's the way that we uh, do all of the programming. It's the way you connect to it. It's the way it communicates to your a smartphone or tablet. It's also the way that we create the mesh and it comes standard with every device. Is there any way to gain together DCS units if you have a room with more than three zones? 
so yeah, that, that kind of that goes back to the, the statement of the mesh. Uh, uh, you would mesh together multiple DCSs, so you would have to just utilize more than one DCS in that room, mesh them together for the multiple zones. Do you have a wall box OCC sensor that can connect? Uh, we do not at the moment. Are there any metering functions built into the system? Uh, there, there are. There's an, uh, I'm sure you can talk a little bit more about you that. You bet, I'll take it. So uh, every device um, has built within it current modern track capability. And we went a step above uh, what other uh, competitors do, where every relay uh, has the ability for current monitoring. And uh, if someone specific has a question about that, I'll go into more detail about it. But, but yes, absolutely, uh, we have current monitoring for each one of them. And we even store the information for one year uh, in, the in the device. So you can download it and, and look at that information. What would the approximate contractor by price be on a single DCS? Uh, oh, uh, there's you know that you have the contractor price off the top of your head. No, I don't have it on the top of my head. No, man, no, sir. I would tell you to reach out to your uh, RSM to get set up with a one on one webinar to more learn more about the DCS and dive into some more price points. I can tell you it is very price competitive, though. Yeah, and if you're not sure who your RSM is, uh, you can look on our website. We have a map that uh, tells you exactly the location of uh, where you are in the United States or Canada and who you can reach out to. Um, that will um, be linked in the email that goes out to you with the copy of the webinar. Um, do you have stock on all that is available to ship? Uh, Almost some of the switches are on the way to us, but uh, by the end of December, we will have stock on all of those components. Is the yeah, so DCS everything's listed except for some of those uh, switches, and they are on the way. Yep. Is the DCS listed for UL 924, or do I need a third party device for emergency lighting? You do need a third party UL924 device for emergency lighting. It is not UL924 rated. Which we can supply you with. We, we do have third party or UL924 devices, which we can supply. Are the relays also rated for receptacle control? So they are 20 amp rated relays, uh, which is which can handle receptacle control. That's correct. Yes, and they're specifically uh, listed and tested for receptacle control, and uh, every one of them can be used for receptacle control. Do you have factory reps in addition to your RSM? Uh, we do have, yes, we do have uh, lighting reps. Um, again, you can contact your RSM to see who that, that rep is in that area, or you can go onto our website. Uh, you will be able to see the, the rep uh, there as well. Can you supply MSAD in um, USA compliant? Made in, made in USA compliant. Uh, um. I, I'll take that one. So the the DCS uh, devices, they're made in Europe and, and shipped to us. Um, if you have a specific uh, project that requires uh, made in America, we'll take a, a look at it and review it. Uh, the reason being is, is uh, most of the projects will allow whenever it's from a friendly uh, country. Uh, it's considered a most favorite nation, for example, and will help you with the paperwork and things like this uh, uh, to get it on your project. Thank you. 
how many controllers can be grouped together? Uh, yeah, so again, Thurston, you correct me if I'm wrong, um, but we did not set a limit on them. Um, so uh, we, we haven't set a limit on them uh, in the in the projects that we're doing. Uh, at the moment, we've we've not had the requirement to connect uh, more than three of them. Um, but uh, yes, there's there's uh, there's there's not a, a maximum limit that's set on them. Thank you. And last question. Is the 300 meter with a two wire 18? Yes, two wire 18. It's nothing, doesn't have to be anything special. It's not required to be shielded. Uh, it can be either stranded or solid. Uh, I often like to use solid because the, the stabbing connections uh, work more easily on the controller. All right, thank you, Thurston, Sean. That is all the questions we have um, right now. Awesome, that's great. Well, no, I, I appreciate everyone hopping on. Um, you know, definitely contact your regionals, your RSMs, uh, your, your local lighting reps, and uh, see what we can do to get Steinel, or see what we can do to help you get Steinel's DCS on the on a future project. You know, as you saw, it's easier wiring, uh, less components. Uh, as you saw by all the questions, there's an answer. The customer support here. I mean, we are here to help you get through. Uh, all these installs. So yeah, reach out to your regionals, try to get some one-on-one -on -one webinars set up. Um, we are here to help uh, in any way that we can. So thank you all. Uh, and I will let everyone get back to work.